Yaochukong Sports Center could be redeveloped when the area around Yaochukong MRT Station is turned into a hub for sporting, wellness and healthcare facilities, a plan currently under study. Plans to transform the area were showcased at a traveling exhibition at Wan Pangal, detailing current and future recreational facilities and amenities for Singapore's northeast region, including a new park in Sengkong West. Organized by the Urban Redevelopment Authority URA, the roving exhibition is part of the agency's public engagement for its upcoming recreation master plan which will be incorporated into the draft master plan to be launched in 2025. Yayo Chukong Sports Centre, which was completed in the mid-1980s, houses a swimming complex, multipurpose sports hall, squash centre, tennis centre, gym, and a stadium with a running track and field. In response to queries from the Straits Times, URA and Sport Singapore Sport SG noted the centre's age and said the authorities are seeking public feedback on ways to refresh facilities in the area to meet the evolving needs and aspirations of the community. Plans exhibited showed that the area bounded by the upcoming North-South Corridor on Misery Keo Avenue, it and the MRT Viaduct could be used for community notes while the space currently occupied by the sports centre, between on Misery Kyo Avenue 9. The MRT Viaduct and Nanyang Polytechnic could house sports, wellness and healthcare facilities. URA said in exhibition panels that bringing such facilities closer to communities in and around Yao Chu Kong would support active living and ageing in place. It was previously announced that by 2025, Yayo Chu Kong will be the first town in Singapore to be entirely dementia-friendly. About 40% of its residents are at least 65 years old. URA also said dining and retail options could be added, which can be seamlessly connected to the North-South Corridor and the larger commuting and recreational cycling routes within the Northeast region. URA and Sport SGE added that rejuvenation plans could improve the walking and cycling experience, especially for people travelling to the MRT station, Nanyang Polytechnic and on Missouri Kyo Industrial Park 3. Dr. Belinda Yuan, Research Director at the Lee Kuan Yew Centre for Innovative Cities at SUTD, said developing and sustaining public facilities and spaces that are welcoming to users and improve their lives require getting close to and working with the community. To this end, she said URA could involve residents in identifying health and well-being goals for the neighbourhood and to co-design and co-create facilities that would meet their needs. Dr Yuan said research has shown that older adults aged 55 and above rank health, transport and cooked food facilities among those they most desired to have close to home to maintain their independence and an active lifestyle. Citing international research, she added that walkability is also important as it contributes to cardiovascular health and can enhance the older residents' happiness. Dr. Yuan suggested that technology can be incorporated into refreshed sports facilities in the area and gave the example of Hadian Park in Beijing, which leverages facial recognition technology to record track users' performance and makes the data available to them. Mr. Benedict Chung, 37, who has been playing squash at Yao Chu Kong Sports Center since 2011, said he hopes that if redeveloped, the center will have more comprehensive squash facilities such as doubles courts and glass courts. Citing the limited number of public squash courts in Singapore, especially when compared with facilities for other racket sports such as badminton and tennis, Mr. Chung said it would be a letdown if the courts are removed during any redevelopment, especially with renewed interest in the sport in Singapore. He said the current courts are old but well-maintained, but they do not fare well in inclement weather and get wet when it rains. He noted that the sports centre's facilities are also not linked to one another via sheltered walkways, a feature that is common in newer facilities. 
Users of the sports center would benefit from the addition of retail and food and beverage outlets. He said, adding that sports shops could complement future facilities, squash players, for instance, could get their rackets rest round and continue with their games with minimal disruption. Also set to be improved is Serangoon Sports Centre, which opened in 1994 and has a swimming complex, a table tennis room, and a stadium with a running track and field. URA said in its exhibition that renovation plans for the centre are under study. And could include facilities such as a gym, gym activity rooms, basketball courts and an accessible sheltered pool. Meanwhile, a new park in Seng Kong is in the works. Set to encircle Seng Kong West Industrial Estate, an area of about 140 hectares zoned for industrial use in URA's Master Plan 2008, the proposed park will provide residents and future workers with more greenery and recreational options. Said URA, the National Parks Board and Parks and JTC Corporation in response to ST's queries. The agencies added that the upcoming industrial estate, which is still being planned, will provide more jobs near homes. In an exhibition panel, URA said the park will feature lush landscaping to strengthen the ecological connectivity in northeastern Singapore. Should the park be developed, it may become part of an upcoming nature corridor, a series of green spaces that facilitate wildlife connectivity for the Silta area, which was announced in June 2022 following the conclusion of a study that sought to understand ecological links between the island's green spaces. Botanist Sean Lam, a senior lecturer at NTU's Asian School of the Environment, suggested that a green belt should not be a peripheral feature skirting the industrial estate, but instead that green spaces could be planned alongside future developments in the area. Assuming that the authorities have already set aside a fixed area for greenery around the estate, Dr. Lam said planners could explore taking some space allotted to the perimeter park and using it instead to create habitat patches within the estate. This could benefit species that do not require contiguous greenery to move around as they can use patches of vegetation as stepping stones. He said, adding that academics and NPARCs can model various configurations for green spaces and arrive at the best outcome for human recreation and wildlife. Referencing the Silta Nature Corridor Which links the central catchment nature reserve to Coney Island, Dr. Lum said both continuous stretches of vegetation and relatively more fragmented patches can facilitate ecological connectivity, depending on the needs of the species that use them. Apart from the Sengkong West Industrial Estate site, he said it will also be important to safeguard other existing green patches such as those on other side of the TPE, near Jalan Kayu, as well as along the Pangal and Serangoon rivers.